After 40 years as a social worker, she has made political history in Hamilton County. Stephanie Summero Dumas did no door knocking. She engaged people on the streets, in the plazas, as her posters and campaign photos attest. Her message to them was... That I mean what I say, that I'm going to be honest and have integrity. And so um, they received that message and they listened to me and they voted that way. When she replaces Republican Chris Monzel, the Hamilton County Commission will be all Democrat, majority female, and for the first time will have an African American with decision-making power. I feel honored. Um, it's awesome that... Uh, that this has happened. Uh, it's been a long time, should have happened a long time ago. She tells me her pressing issues are the budget, economic empowerment to reduce homelessness, and transportation accessibility. Even here in Forest Park, uh, we uh, our bus transportation only covers half of Forest Park, and I live in the half is not covered, so yeah. So yeah, she's already having impact just hours after a stunning political upset. She was out and about in the community. She, I saw her out at a lot of the Dem clubs and in the community, and so so, you know, she garnered that kind of grassroots support. Dumas rode the D train, as it was known in some neighborhoods. She already had a base as Forest Park's 14th mayor. Her vanity plate might be the only visibly vain thing about her. Number one, as, as far as being a good social worker, is good listening skills. So not only am I able to listen, but to be compassionate. And don't mistake that as weakness. She made it clear she'll be no one's rubber stamp. And she proves, just as Tyrone Yates did years ago in winning a council seat, that you can win even though you have spent and raised very little money. Reporting live, John London, WWDT News 5. John, wondering, what does this political upset tell us about the changing demographics of Hamilton County? Uh, that there's a need for a crossover candidates uh, on the Republican side, and Republican leadership is aware of that. You think of Coroner Samarco, you think of Auditor Rhodes, Commissioner Driehaus, Sheriff Neal. Those are Democrats who some Republicans vote for, and Republican leadership recognizes the need to recruit crossover candidates in this changing county.